pops out, hey! Hey guys, it's Abram from YouTube, you know, Life by Abe. I'm here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. I am actually in District 1. I'm going to be going to the cafe apartments today and I want to bring you along with me. Um, so we'll see what happens and who we run. Oh! Hey buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Watch, watch where you're going. Hey, I'm trying to do the same thing. Hey, my channel's better. My channel's better. I got 400 subscribers. I got three. Oh. No, three subscribers. Or 30 subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, you keep... you. Yeah, and then running into weird people like that, some, you know, whatever. But we're going to go here to this awesome building. It's got like 48 different um, uh, things inside, cafes, it looks like laundry shop, lingerie shop, not laundry, uh, and probably barbecue. Uh, we're flying his drone, well, he's flying his drone. It's up there, it's about to get hit by a bunch of pigeons, but uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. As long as it's not your drone, right? Well, I mean, they are getting really close. Here they come again. Here they come. No, they're not. I don't think so. They're pigeons. They're rats with wings. The cafe apartments. I'm out here with this guy. His name's Kenny. He's not really paying attention, but What's whatever. Up, there he is. I was paying attention. Ha, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to go see about this place. Looks like there is a barbecue spot. They got barbecue pork ribs, beef steak, a bunch of cafes. There's even a lingerie shop. It's called Sexy Forever. A couple sushi spots. Yeah, this might be a very interesting, interesting day. Stay tuned. So now we're going in. I just remembered. I hate stairs. I really hate stairs. I hope there's an elevator. Yeah, they've got stairs. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, we're there's also an elevator now, right here. If you want to take the elevator, you can pay a small fee. And when I mean small, it's not going to cost you a dollar, it's not going to cost you 50 cents, or a couple cents, like five or ten. Well, 3,000 Vietnam dong is a cost, but if you go into any of the cafes or restaurants, uh, they'll reimburse you after you have your meal or drink. But yeah, anything to say? To be cheap or to be lazy? That is the question. To be cheap or to be lazy? Uh, I'm gonna be cheap. Yeah. He's gonna be cheap. I'm gonna be lazy. Okay. I'll see you at the top. Of course, you're gonna win. Actually, there's only one elevator and there's like what, eight floors in this building, so I think I might make it all the way to the top. So, I'll catch you there. Sounds like plan. All right, we're, go. we're going to the top? Yeah, we're going to all the right. top. Sounds Let's like see plan. up there. All right. Oh yeah. How much? Three. Three thousand. All right. All right. What? Uh. All right, so there's luckily only one person in. I have a feeling I'm gonna win on this. I heard him in the stairwell. He was taking his time. That's what it sounded like. He was talking to the camera. Yeah. All right, here we go. Looks like I've won so far. I have no idea where we're going, but I have a feeling he's gonna come up here. Yeah. He's still not here. He's still not here. I hear him. I see him. That was him. Kenny! He didn't make it. He's calling my name. He's out of breath. Here he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, I've been here. I had a coffee. I've just been chilling, waiting for you. Like, yeah. Ah, see? See? That's, that, that, that right there is why I don't take the stairs. But I'm also fat, so it, yeah, it pays. Yeah. So we've got a tea spot over here. We've got a giant water tank. They've got them on roofs for your hot water. 
And this is what the the hallways kind of look like. Like there's another coffee shop down there and a sushi spot at the end. Uh, the elevator's right here. So it's kind of cool. You get to see everything. Nice little sign. Yeah, Orient Tea. So we're on the eighth floor, and it looks like it's all the beauty floor. The past couple of lingerie shop, nail shop, but there looks like there's a coffee place called Boo Coffee. Maybe we'll stop in here and have a quick drink. Oh. We're going to the letter. Let's go get some tea or coffee. I'm usually a leader, but today I'll be a follower. Yeah, let's do this. So what are you getting? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. All right. So while he speaks Vietnamese, I'm going to speak English because he, what's your name? Tit. Tit speaks great English, so. And I'm sure I am not talking behind his back. I swear to God. He probably is. It's okay. I'm going to do the coconut shell. So that was me speaking in broken Vietnamese. I learned Vietnamese like a few years ago at my aunt's restaurant. And uh, my family, I have family here, and they told me last year I was like 40% fluency, but now I've made progress and I'm currently at 65%. Yeah. All I know how to say is, won't I, won't be. It's like one beer. Oh yeah, and pop salad. Yeah, that's like his morning alarm clock. Pop salad. Pop salad. So I ordered a coconut taco. I'm thinking it's like a milk tea almost. Let's see. It looks delicious. It absolutely does. By the way, I love chocolate, so we'll see. So that is heaven in a glass. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm not even gonna be able to film anymore right now. I'm just gonna enjoy this. Goodbye. Yeah, so now we're leaving. More stairs, but it's okay. We're only going down a floor at a time, so it's not that bad. If uh, we did them all at the same time, I probably would be complaining a lot more. But uh, let's see what's around here. Wait, I think we're going in circles. Didn't we drink at the letter? Didn't we have our, our little drink at the letter? What? What? We walked downstairs. Yeah. Oh, this <laughs> is so weird. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're stuck in a loop. No, it's, the this, letter was upstairs. I know, but this there's is... There's one this, downstairs, I think. There's, there's one right here, too. On, let's, let's go. This, Wait. This, yeah. It yeah, looks floors. It looks kind of familiar. This is so weird, guys. So, uh, a few minutes ago, we were actually at the ladder the cafe shop. And they actually have two businesses. One upstairs and one down here. So, once we went down one level, we saw it again. And we were like, wait a minute. This is kind of weird. Or, or we're stuck in some weird kind of twilight zone stair thing because it knows how much I hate stairs. And we're just going like downstairs to go back up and down. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just rambling. Uh, so Sweet. Talking with coffee. Look, they got Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. It's a very angry looking woman. And a dog. Did somebody say poke? Look at that. All right. Yeah, delicious. What is this? Guava juice. Ah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, nothing so far. So this is the lunch. This ran me about 240,000 total, but I put like an extra scoop of fish in here. And uh, that's guava juice, fresh squeezed. So this is gonna be the day. This is gonna be lunch and possibly even dinner for tonight. I'll probably be full after this. All right, so just finished eating. That was something delicious. And now 
I think it's going to be time to take a nap, the mid-afternoon nap that everyone does. Uh, you'll see people passed out all over the place between the hours of 1 and 3 here in Vietnam. Um, whether it's in an office building or on their motorbike on the street or in a makeshift hammock that they just tied together with a long shirt. Sleep. Yes. Get it in. It's the hottest time of the day. Now, for some people that don't have motorbikes, they don't have hammocks, they actually get like cardboard boxes or newspaper and just gather them on the street. So there's two ways to sleep in Vietnam.